हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिवाइस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिगिंग डिवाइस कॉल्ड एस टर्न बकल दिस डिवाइस इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इज बेसिकली टर्न बकल द मेन पर्पज ऑफ दिस टर्न बकल इज टू एडजस्ट टेंशन एंड रिड्यूस स्लैक इन रोप और बेसिकली इट इज यूज एज ए टेंशनिंग डिवाइस यूज टू रिड्यूस द स्लैक इन ए रोप और केबल आई विल शो यू वन ऑफ इट्स लाइव एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस टर्न बकल तो हेयर दिस टर्न बकल इज बींग एंकर टू दिस कंक्रीट ब्लॉक टू दर डी साइकल एंड दिस इज वन एंड ऑफ द टर्न बकल आई एंड एंड दी अदर एंड इज आई एंड इज बींग टाइट टू द वायर एंड इट इज बींग टाइट एंड अप एंड रिड्यूसिंग स्लैक इन दिस रूप तो दिस इज बेसिकली द मेन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ टर्न बकल इज टू रिड्यूज और एडजस्ट टेंशन एंड रिड्यूस स्लैक इन ए रूप होप दिस क्लियर टू द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस टर्न बकल दीज टर्न बकल्स आर बेसिकली यूज इन मैनी ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन ठीक है लाइक सस्पेंशन केबल ब्रिजेज एट्सेट्रा एंड दे आर मैनी केसेज ओके तो द मेन एम ऑफ दिस टर्न बकल इज टू रिड्यूज द स्लैक इन द रोप तो ना इफ वी चेक दिस हाउ दिस टर्न बकल इज बेसिकली पार्ट ऑफ द टर्न बकल्स बेसिकली दी दे आर मेन पार्ट ऑफ द टर्न बकल तो दिस इज बेसिकली द बॉडी इट इज बेसिकली द बॉडी इट इज बेसिकली सम बॉडी लाइक दिस देर इज सम बॉडी ओके इन दिस बॉडी दे आर बेसिकली सम स्क्रू थ्रेड अरेंजमेंट्स आर देर तो दिस इज द बॉडी एंड देर इज वन ऑन वन ऑन दी वन साइड देर इज राइट हैंड स्क्रू थ्रेड एंड दी अदर साइड देर इज लेफ्ट एंड देर स्क्रू थ्रेड्स आर देर विच आर बेसिकली एंड फिटेड and this uh, have different ends basically this can be having the different ends so this is basically the main body of this turn buckle in this body there are threads are being provided in which the screw will pass over there okay now this body can be closed body as well as open body this is the closed body where the inner part is not visible and this is basically the open body where you can easily see and in the uh, video i shown it is also a open body now basically these uh, turn buckles have different types of the end one can be the hook end the other can be the jaw end it can having eye when these hook end are basically the temporary connections okay these hooks are can be temporary and this jaw is the problem with the jaw end that can't be opened once uh, you have uh, tightened this uh, jaw end then you it you you have to uh, first of all you piston uh, this sir clip you have to move then it is very difficult to open so these jaw can't be opened and i basically uh, with the help of d cycles as i have shown you in the uh, video uh, this is basically i Uh, with the help of dia cycle has to be tightened up and reduce the slack and uh, jaw and i basically are for permanent if you want to have some permanent uh, then jaw and i in the jaw itself there is it is sort of uh, pin passing through the jaw in the i the d cycle is being used so these are used for permanent so d cycle uh, the permanent i we have using d cycle so this turn buckle has simple two parts one is the main body and the there is the th screw threaded part and this screw threaded parts are different types of end okay it can be hook it can be jaw it can be i so depends upon your application if you are temporary you uh, want to uh, give a tension then hook so that it can be easily be released if it jaw for the permanent i you have to use d cycle for that okay these d cycles are basically made up of galvanized steel or stainless steel so in this video we also have some idea about the designing of this d cycle if we uh, notice the design of the d cycle is like this only this is basically this is basically the coupler this is basically the coupler the body it is called as coupler and this coupler has some nut over there where the screw thread is being passed so it is basically the coupler nut part this is the coupler body and this body is basically it is like this only and uh, there are some threads in this portion there are threads this portion there are threads it is like i have shown it is a simple diagram okay and this is the diameter of this coupler portion where the there is threaded part and this is the plain diameter d2 and uh, it is having the this uh, diameter d and this is the inner side diameter is d1 so basically it is be very simple you have to analyze this or you have to design this using simple criteria now if uh, we want to design accordingly to the screw threads okay 
these screw threads if you want to design accordingly these screw threads is like this only these screw threads the inner core diameter is basically dc the outer diameter is d naught okay so what basically the simple funda of stress is stress is equal to force over area we are first de uh, designing according to the screw thread so stress is equal to force over area and it is under tension okay we are uh, removing the slack it is not like this the these turnbuckles are used only for tension it can be used for compression also you uh, if you uh, if you know about this just cite me an example in the comment section i know how much you know about this turnbuckle okay so we are considering the example of tension so sigma is equal to force over area where the area is minimum then the failure will be there the stresses will be much over there and the minimum area is at the root side so this is the core diameter of this thread so area is equal to the tension area this is the area that is pulled like this only so area is equal to pi by 4 into dc ka square sigma is equal to force over area sigma is equal to force over area pi uh, force is basically the load that is being provided p over pi by 4 dc ka square from this uh, basically you know the tensile stresses of the material from which the thread is being made so from this you can easily calculate the core diameter okay now there is an empirical relation between the core diameter and the outer diameter of basically dc is the core diameter and outer diameter of the thread is d naught so d naught is equal to dc divided by 0 0.84 this is empirical relation if you have no uh, understand machine design you can easily note this now we have first find this the core diameter of the screw thread and the outer outer diameter of the screw thread using the simple concept sigma is equal to force over area area minimum and it is under the tensile stresses force the area will minimum will be there where the diameter is less and it, i am pulling it like this the area exposure is this circle so sigma is equal to pi by 4 uh, p over pi by 4 dc cas square from that we have calculated dc the core diameter now we have to calculate the other things the d the diameter of this coupler d2 we have to calculate the d1 we have to calculate so for that we have to go into the design analysis of the coupler part now this coupler this coupler this in the shown in the figure it can be fail in tension it can be fail in shear and it can be fail in crushing okay now oh, this is basically the coupler if i show you if, uh, some with some uh, pen okay so this coupler can break like this okay when it is being pulled up it can break like this and there is threaded connection over there there is threaded connection over there so these part the part in the contact can be shear as well as these part can be have a crushing crushing failure also so we have to understand or we have to find the other dimension as per the uh, stresses consideration using tension shear and the crushing if we can take the simple example of the tension tension is equal to uh, force sigma tension stress is a stress is equal to force over area area load and area is in this pi by 4 d square minus d naught square because this part this part is having uh, one area as the d naught outer area and the other area is d square so it is having when it fails up using the uh, tensile fair so this is basically in the diameter is equal to the diameter of the thread outer diameter of the thread and outer is basically d okay so this is the area under exposure is this area is under exposure so the tensile stresses will be when we consider the failure the tensile stresses will load over area pi by 4 d square minus d naught ka square we already find out d naught is equal to dc over 0.84 using the tensile fail of the screw thread we already calculated dc from that we can easily find the d now d is also known to us now we talk about the shear failure so this coupler will be in having contact with this screw threads so it will slide like this if l is the length over which it has to be slide it is in contact and dc is the core diameter at which it has been in contact okay this will shear out this is this is thread this is basically dc and this is basically d naught so it will shear like this only so what is the area that is being sheared up this plane this plane pi dc into l 
तो वी आर टेकिंग अप शेयर फेलर दैन दिस एरिया इज इक्वल टू पाई डी सी इन टू एल वी ऑलरेडी नो द सीयर स्ट्रेसिस ओके डी सी इज ऑलरेडी नोन तो इन दैट वे वी कैन कैलकुलेट द लेंथ ओवर इज द थ्रेड हैज़ टू बी प्रोवाइडेड नाउ द लास्ट थिंग इज क्रशिंग फेलर ओके इन द क्रशिंग फेलर द बोर्ड द आउटर डायमीटर एज वेल एज द कोर डायमीटर दे विल बी क्रशिंग स्ट्रेसिस बिटवीन दैम तो वॉट इज द एरिया एरिया इज पाई बाई फोर डी नॉट स्क्वायर माइनस डी सी स्क्वायर एंड वी ऑलरेडी नो द क्रसिंग स्ट्रेस इज ओवर देयर तो क्रसिंग सिगमा सी आर विल बी पी ओवर पाई बाई फोर डी नॉट स्क्वायर माइनस डी सी स्क्वायर नाउ वी हैव टू डू वन थिंग एंड इफ दिस लोड इज नॉट टेकन ओनली बाई द सिंगल थेड हेयर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ओनली ए सिंगल थेड बट दीज थेड्स आर स्प्रेडिंग ओवर ए लेंथ ओके इट इज़ लाइक दिस लेंथ ओनली इफ वी नो द नंबर ऑफ थ्रेड्स इन कॉन्टैक्ट पर यूनिट लेंथ एंड फिर मल्टीप्लाई वाइड द लेंथ दैन वी कैन गेट दिस वी कैन गेट फॉर दिस होल लोड पी तो इन दिस वे वी कैन फाइंड आउट वी कैन यूज दिस फॉर्मूला पी जू को टू पाई फोर डी नॉट स्क्वायर माइनस डी सी स्क्वायर इन टू एन इन टू एल इन टू सिगमा सी आर सो एल ऑलरेडी नोन टू अस डी नॉट वी ऑलरेडी नोन डी सी वी ऑलरेडी नोन इन दिस वे वी कैन ईजली कैलकुलेट द एन ओके नाउ द लास्ट थिंग इज द कपलर डी वन डी टू इफ वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट डी वन डी टू दिस कपलर इज लाइक दिस हैविंग वन इनर डी वन एंड दी अदर इज आउटर डी टू दिस डी वन इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ द दिस डी नॉट आउटर डायमीटर ऑफ द थ्रेड प्लस सम मार्जिन ओवर दे तो डी वन इज डी नॉट प्लस सिक्स एम एम इट आल्सो फेल ड्यूरिंग द टेंशन तो इन दिस वे वी कैन इजली फाइंड आउट द अदर डायमेंशन तो इन दिस वे दिस टर्न बकल्स वी कैन इजली फाइंड आउट एवरी डायमेंशन वी हैव वी आर वॉट वी हैव डन वी हैव कंसिडर द दिस टेंसाइल फेलर ऑफ द स्क्रू थ्रेड एंड वी हैव कंसिडर टेंशन फेलर ऑफ द कपलर शेयर फेलर ऑफ द कपलर इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद दिस स्क्रू थ्रेड एज वेल एज द क्रशिंग फेलर ऑफ द कपलर ओप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो कीप सपोर्ट एंड सब्सक्राइब